In today's video, we are going to be using the free online version of SketchUp to create ourselves a love heart keychain. Uh, these two quick examples I whacked together just before. It's not much to them, it's just a heart that's been extruded. We've got some text on top and a little arc that's situated on top there as well, where we can attach a actual keychain to. Alrighty, so to get started, let's load up SketchUp. Make sure you sign in with your Google account and go to the menu and choose a new uh, model and select the millimeters template. Remember we don't want to work in feet and inches like the Americans, we want to work in millimeters like the Australians that we are. Once that page loads, click on the chick in the middle of the screen, press delete to get rid of her, and I want you to go to the top view to start drawing today. So in your views panel on the right there, select the middle option which will take you to the top view, and then you can just close that panel. Now to draw a love heart you need to draw two circles to start with so your circle tool is actually um, part of the rectangle tool menu so just click on that and expand it out and select the third option which is your circle. doesn't matter where you draw these circles you don't have to start in the origin today I'm going to start up the top left and simply click once and then click again come off to the side click once and click again. Now these circles don't have to be the same size a little bit different um, a little bit different in size will actually look half decent when you make this keychain. Now once you've got your two circles, grab your move tool, which is these four arrows here. Pick up either one of those circles. Just click on the face and move it over and just overlap them slightly like so. I don't want too much of an overlap, just a little one like that will probably look best. Now once you've got them overlapped, we're going to go and grab our two point arc tool. So these are our arcs here. When the menu flies out, we want to choose the second option. That's our two-point arc. And we're just going to click on the left side of our circle here. Doesn't matter where exactly, just somewhere off to the left. Come down below the two circles and somewhere around the middle, click your mouse again. Now you can move this curve around and get it just how you want it. I'm going to go to this point here where it turns light blue and it says a tangent at vertex. Okay, I'm then going to click on that point at the very bottom, come back up to my circle here and click again and do the same thing. Okay, and now I've got a little love heart. Make sure that it does turn blue or sometimes it will turn white just to show that that shape is enclosed. So all the lines are connected. If your shape does not color in, it means your lines aren't connected. It would be best to press Control Z a couple of times undo it and just go again. Now to get rid of these lines in the middle of our heart just grab your eraser tool and then click over the top of those lines and they'll disappear and you're left with you with your love heart. Now if you go for a fly around so I'm going to orbit around my heart by holding down my mouse wheel or you can grab your orbit tool from down here at the bottom of your toolbox. Go for a fly around and you can see you've got your flat 2D heart sitting on the Z and X axis there. What we want to do is pull it up a little bit so it comes up the Y axis to make it 3D. So we use the push pull tool to do that. Just click on the face of the heart and pull it up a little bit. It doesn't need to come up much. If you're making this for print, okay, remember your distance that you pull it up. You probably wouldn't want to pull it up more than 10 millimeters. Okay, that's a pretty thick love heart if you do that. So I've gone up 43 millimeters, which is what almost Actually, sorry, you wouldn't want to come up over 100 millimeters. I'm just thinking about measurements here and getting them all wrong. Okay, so four millimeters, that would be pretty good actually. Maybe no more than five. Oh, I've stuffed that up, but you get the idea. We're only making a model on the screens now, but if you were to 3D print, make sure that you're taking into account the measurements. Anyway, we've got our love heart that's extruded. I'll move on before I confuse you anymore. Uh, what I'm going to do is grab my white arrow and I'm going to triple click on this heart and that's going to select it all. So one, two, three. You can see all the lines around the outside of the heart will highlight blue and little, da uh, little blue dots appear on the inside of the shape. Once I've selected that shape, I'm going to right click on it and make it a component. Now if you want, you can give it a name. So I'll just call it heart and click OK. And that just makes it all one big shape. It's going to make it easy to colour in. So if you want to go and grab your paint bucket, and you can come across here, and I'm just going to go with colours for this one. 
look for a pinky kind of color and simply click on it. And that colors my whole shape in pink. Beautiful. Okay, next step, um, I'm going to put some text on top of it. So to put text in, another easy job. Your text is found in your shapes tool here as well. So where you find your rectangles and circles, the very last option is 3D text. Click on that. The 3D text you want to add in, uh, you can write whatever you want, but I'm just going to write the word love. I'm going to change my font. It's Laura at the moment. Okay, I don't want Laura. I want to choose Oswald. And I don't want regular font. I want bold font, so it's nice and thick. Click OK. And there it is on your page. So I'm just going to put it on my love heart there. Now, if you actually go for a bit of an orbit around this, you'll see that it's quite big. Actually, way too big. So what you can do is grab your scale tool, which is hiding underneath your uh, move tool. It's this option here, the square with the um, little arrow pointing to the top right corner. You can actually click on these green things and bring it down to size. And if you need to stretch it out, make it bigger or smaller, by all means, do that as well. You can then go back and grab your move tool. I'm just going to go back to my top view so I can see this clearly. And I'm going to move it to wherever I want it with my move tool. Okay. You can then grab some colors. Oh, it doesn't matter which color. I'm just going to go maybe a, yeah, I've got a yellow. And you can color your text in. Okay, so as you do an orbit around, we've got our love heart, we've got our text, we are looking good. I'm just going to go back to the top view now for this next section. In the top view, what I'm going to do is just put in a little arc over the top here, where I can attach this to an actual key ring or key chain or whatever it is. So I'm going to use the two-point arc tool again. I'm going to simply click once there, and once over the other side. Make sure it's connecting up. There we go. And just make a bit of an arc. Do the same again. So click, click, pull it up. Now that's a little bit lopsided, but don't worry if it's a little bit off. You get the idea. Now I know it's a bit annoying, but you do actually have to connect that point to that point. Whoops, I shouldn't be using that tool for it. I need to be using the line tool. So use your line tool to connect the ends of those lines up so it becomes an enclosed shape like that. That's what I was looking for. Once you've got that enclosed shape, you can extrude it. So if I go for an orbit around now, you can see there's still a 2D shape. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just come underneath it here and grab my push-pull tool and pull it down. So it's the exact same size as my heart. Yeah, that looks pretty good. If you're being fussy, you would use exact measurements when you do this, but as I said, I'm only making a 3D model on the screen. I'm not being overly fussy, but you should make it look as best you can. Grab your white arrow, triple click on that little arc. You can right click on it if you'd like and make it a component as well. I'll just call it arc. Click OK. And you can color it in using your um, paint bucket tool again. I'll probably just go with the same pink I used on the heart, which is probably that pink. There we go, so we now have our 3D keychain. Pretty simple. You can easily send that to the 3D printer. I'll show you how in a sec. So first of all, you want to save it. So you've got a copy saved in the cloud. Remember to go to your SketchUp folder and um, just call it heart keyring or something like that. I'll just call it keyring. And save it here. And there we go. Now, if you were to 3D print this, you'd need to export it. Okay, so you go to that folder at the top, you export it, and you export it as an STL file. And you can see in brackets there, it's got STL for 3D printing. Okay, so you click on that, it would actually save it onto your computer. You can see that that's now downloaded onto my computer, and you can send that through your 3D printing software, and your 3D printer will be able to print that out quite easily. There's not much to that design. Okay, so that's how you create a love heart keychain using the free version of SketchUp.